Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'd like to do a quick tutorial for this herringbone half gingham crochet blanket that I recently finished. And um, I'd like to just do a demonstration on how to change the yarn colors. And I have, uh, of course, just in case you haven't ever seen that for gingham, I have lots of other YouTube tutorials. This is my 11th gingham blanket that I've designed. And so there are lots more on my channel, all different colors, all different types of stitches. So if you're looking for something easier, you can you know, maybe start with the pink single crochet one and um, that'll help you get going. But don't be afraid to try this. If you're a beginner, you just do a practice swatch. Once you get the hang of carrying yarn, you can um, for sure make this blanket. Okay, so all the details are on my website, daisyfarmcrafts.com. Please click the link in the description of the video if you're seeing this on YouTube and it will take you straight to the blog post where you can find a lot more information. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so for this project, I used Burnat Baby Sport. These are these giant, the little jumbo skeins. So you only will need two and you'll have leftover, but the first thing you've got to do though is you've got to double strand um, balls of yarn. So this is two strands of the of white. This is two strands of gray. And then you also need to make a ball of gray and white. That's how you will get the shading that you need in order to make the gingham look. Otherwise, if you just do two colors, you'll have a checkerboard look. Okay, so I'm also using a J hook, which you possibly might need a K. It all depends on your personal tension. And for today, I'm just going to do a sample. So I will do three blocks. Um, the pattern is, the base chain is 72. I did seven blocks of color. So I'm just starting out with a simple chain and I am going to chain 32. Okay, so you'll wanna start, and, and actually I suggest if you've never done one of those, just do a practice swatch right along with me. And then that way you'll get the hang of how to carry yarn. And you won't get have to restart your blanket over and over. Okay, so I'm gonna get 32 chains here on my hook. Okay, so with this herringbone half double crochet and the way I've designed the pattern, the first two stitches are always the turning chain. They never count as a stitch. So you are going to want to work into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three. And you can just work right underneath the first loop by yarning over, inserting your hook, yarning over and pulling up a loop but then continuing on through the next loop. And then yarn over and complete the stitch underneath those two. That is how you make a herringbone half double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and continue pulling through the first loop on the hook. Then yarn over and insert, I mean, and pull through the last two. Okay, you're going to do this for 10 stitches. You're going to make 10 herringbone half stitches. The first chain two do not count as a stitch. Those are simply turning chains. You will ignore those. And they get covered up by the side of your blanket. So I will make 10 here. Yarning over, inserting my hook, pulling up a loop, and pulling through the first chain on, I mean the first loop on my hook. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's number nine. Complete that stitch. Now on the 10th stitch, you will yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through the first loop and stop. You're going to keep your white double strands to the back. And now we're going to introduce the striped color, the gray and white. Simply by laying 
the new color over the hook and pulling through on that tenth stitch with the new color. Now you're going to keep the white carrying along with you. Okay, so keep that tail to the back. We will weave that in later. I am pulling this along with me. So I've got this white strand and I'm basically laying it along the side the base chain. So I'll yarn over with the new color. I'll insert my hook under and I'm going under the two white double strands. I'm pulling up a loop and I'm pulling through, continuing my herringbone stitch and pulling through with the new color. Okay, so this is how tapestry crochet works. I'm simply now carrying the yarn through the stitches. It's laying on top of the chain. And I'm just going to continue to work the next 10 herringbone half along with me like that. Finishing those stitches. And, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Why well, I finish these stitches. Um, you'll want to keep the white yarn that you're carrying along, you know, you want to give it a little tug. You don't want that to poke out or, or be seen. So you're going to be giving it a tug, just a tiny little tug, to make sure it's, it's being carried along and not, uh, bubbling on you or poking out or anything like that. Okay, so let's see what number of stitch I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so here's the tenth stitch. Now here is a great tip for this gingham. I'm, this is the tenth stitch, so I'll pull through one. It's time to change colors. I want to keep this gray and white striped yarn to the front. So before I pull through with the white, I wanna make sure I pull this yarn, striped yarn to the front of my work and then pull through with the white. You wanna keep one strand forward and one strand to the back so that your yarn won't twist on you. Now I'm continuing on with the white and I'm still crocheting over the gray and white stripe. So I'm carrying that along. I really hope you can see that. I'm inserting my hook. The gray and white is just behind and I'm pulling through. Okay, I'm gonna finish to the end and then I'll hop back on here and show you how I turn the work. Okay, here I am at the end of my row and you can see that's where I changed my little 10 stitches right there. I know this gray doesn't probably, it might be too, hope you can see that. Um, and I just pull this gray and white just a little bit tight through, make sure it's, it's, it's pulled tight underneath the, those stitches. With the white, I'm chaining two and turning. Turn it like a page in the book. And my gray yarn that is attached right here, I'm just going to simply, you know, place it along the back, bring it around the end with me so that it's right there in that first stitch. I'm working right into the half double crochet and still continuing to work over the striped. Okay, so... In the pattern, you will do this uh, for eight rows before you would cut off the white and add in the gray. And this is where, um, if you'd like to know further information about this pattern, please go visit the link in the profile if you're watching this on YouTube and go ahead and get the specifics on the pattern and um, You'll be on your way to making this darling. It's all made with the herringbone half stitch, even the border. And so I think that you will be able to figure the rest out by, by looking at the pattern. 
So here I am on the 10th stitch, dropping the white behind me, pulling up the gray and white stripe, pulling through, pulling the white a little bit tight, adjusting my tension and continuing to work over that strand of yarn and bringing it through the work. So this is how I'm, I'm getting that effect of shading. Okay, so um, good luck with your project. I, I love these gingham blankets. Like I maybe mentioned at the first that I have lots of them. Please check my YouTube channel for more colors and more tips. I've showed how to change colors and maybe there'll be a different video that will make more sense to you. If you haven't quite learned the herringbone half stitch, I've done it in single crochet, I've done it in half double crochet, a lot of different stitches. So please, the information is out there and I welcome you to search around. And then of course, if you finish these beautiful blankets, come and share them to my Facebook wall or use the hashtag Daisy Farm Crafts on Instagram and I love sharing your blanket and your work with all of my followers there. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.